The Amida Tree by Bonnie Ferrante A little girl loved a wild apple tree. When the leaves tickled her finger and the branches swayed softly, she knew the tree loved her back. As the girl grew, she watched blue damselflies flap their bright wings. I want to buy a microscope to see the smallest things, she told the tree. May I pick your apples and sell them? Some, but not all, said the tree. Many eat my apples. White-tailed deer, black bears, red foxes, and even little rabbits. Take a few, and perhaps a better idea will come to you. The girl made candy apples, each a different forest character. She made dolls from fallen apples, which she dressed in scraps. She sold these and made enough money for a microscope and a chemistry set. Thank you for the apples, she said to the tree. How can I show my gratitude? Take some of my fallen apples and plant them in sunny spots nearby. That way, new trees will grow to feed more of the animals. Gladly, said the girl. The girl studied the tree with her microscope. She found a world of hidden creatures. She looked at the earth with her chemistry set. You need compost, said the girl. So she mixed it into the soil. In the tree's shade, the girl read and studied. She drew pictures of the insects that visited. Each autumn, she picked a few apples for the market. One day, she said to the tree, Even with my job, I don't make enough money to pay for university. May I sell your branches as firewood? That will weaken me, said the tree. Take my broken branches. Perhaps a better idea will come to you. This one looks like it has a beaver's face, said the girl. I have the whole forest in me, said the tree, and the forest has me in it. The girl carved a lynx, a rabbit, a fox, and a squirrel. She spread the wood chips around the tree. She sold her art at the village market. One August, she said to the tree, I am going away to university. I will not see you for years. I will miss you, said the tree. Grow in the sunshine, drink the cool rain, and be strong in the storms. When she returned, the woman pruned and fertilized the tree. Look, said the tree, the apples you planted have sprouted. I'm glad, said the woman. I will be gone for a very, very long time. I will use the money from this book I'm writing to travel and tell children the importance of our wild fruit trees. Insects bored into the old apple tree. Woodpeckers hammered the bark. Squirrels nested in a hole. There were fewer blossoms and fruit. One early spring, a storm covered the forest in ice. The wind howled through the grove. The tree creaked and groaned. Crack! The trunk split. The largest piece crashed down. When the woman returned, she walked slowly and used a wooden cane carved with leaves and blossoms. Apple trees bloomed all around. A porcupine peeked out from the cave-like trunk. My beautiful apple tree, she whispered, I've missed you. We've missed you too whispered all the apple trees. I'm grateful, said the woman as she sat on the trunk, that we shared our lives. The woman breathed in the sweet scent. Then 
She let out one long, slow breath. It was softer than the breeze that blanketed her in pure white blossoms. The text of the Amida tree is followed by 15 discussion questions for parents and teachers. Some examples are, how are apple dolls good examples of recycling and reusing? If the apple tree really loves the little girl, why doesn't it give her everything she wants? On page 10, the caterpillar is in a cocoon. What is happening? I hope you have enjoyed listening to The Amida Tree by Bonnie Ferrante. For more information on this book or the author, please go to her website at bonnieferrante.ca. Books are available on Amazon and other online bookstores. Thank you for listening.